Hello everyone, my name is Afifah, matrix number 056809. Today, we are going to talk about current issues in international trade and its new development. So, do you guys have any interesting issues you want to talk about? Hey Afifah, my name is Wan Zafifah, my matrix number is 056799. Actually, I am interested in discussion about the economic tariff. Taking into consideration what is happening now with the United States and China, I think it is interesting if we talk about this. What do you guys think about this issue? Hi Afifa and Zafifa. My name is Zalika. My metric number is zero five five seven six nine. Well, I think it is an interesting issue to discuss. So why don't you start the discussion first with Zafifa, as uh, she suggested the topic first. All right. Let me start first. Uh, which is problem statement? As we know that nowadays business is very important toward the worldwide. However, in this situation, this business of trade may impose disagreement, war, and conflict. And the most functional organization, which is the World Trade Organization (WTO), that help the trade throughout the nation to flow smoothly and well according to the trade agreement. However, in this case, although the existence of the World Trade Organization is established, there are still disputes in the international trade like the United States and China, which is the tariff that have been imposed bo by both of these countries between them without taking into consideration in pertaining the rule and obligation in the WTO. I see. Well, this topic is really interesting. I guess we shall further the discussion, right? So today, uh, we will be first identifying the background of the problem between uh, the United States and the China, right? And then we will be analyzing the laws and rules of the World Trade Organization in following to address the issue. And lastly, we will be exploring the possible solution of the problem to the United States and China. Uh, according to the economic uh, trade and tariff thingy, right? I guess that's all. Yes, I guess that is the general idea. Wait, I see Zalika has something to talk about. Do you have anything to say, Zalika? Well, yes, actually. As we already know that before the coming of the World Trade Organization, WTO, the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade Guide was used to settle and manage the international trade process between nations. And it is the United States that led the effort to build a stable, open and prosperous global economy after joining hands in 1948. Besides, WTO is one of the organization conduct trade relationship within its member, which is based on agreement agreements of the trade. However, this organization faces many challenges, especially the tensions wars between both of the parties in the trade war. And WTO also one of the most influential in this time economic globalizations. Basically, economic tariff itself can be defined as a tax that is being made by the government on that country or imports. Um, as the increasing the certain price for the purchaser or buyer shows a reduction in imports and conduct or lets to revenge or, in other words, retaliations by other countries. On this part, tariffs seem crucial barriers to free trade, which uh, they constantly met to safeguard or protect the domestic industry from low-cost imports. In this situation, we can clearly see that this case um, leads to retaliation or so, which is other countries may or placing tariffs on their exports. The argument and this agreement begin in July 2018, which is when the President of the United um, uh, United States, uh, Donald Trump, uh, based on several months of warning of trades uh, towards extensive tariffs on China due to the unfair trade practices. Yeah. As fraud not with has been in the United Nations has put tariffs of about 550 billion US dollar according to the Chinese products. This situation also led uh, to a reputation and threatened qualitative standard that can directly affect the United States country in business dealing and operating in China. 
Okay guys, so now I will tell you about the background of the problem between both of the party as general in the trade dispute that lead to the trade war as happening today. I will start with the early conflict between United States and China. Both the United States and China is one of the largest economy that is already occupied or locked in a bitter or controversial trade battle. One of the reasons why the US President Donald Trump imposed hard tariffs toward China is because they accuse or charge China of unfair trading practices and intellectual property theft and this dispute and Accusation had led the United States imposed hard tariff of hundred billion of dollar worth of one another good between them. Well, the start of United States to put the economic tariffs toward China is recently the situation, uh, which is the start of the high tariff uh, between these. Both parties is basically is on 6 July in the year uh, 2018. In this case happened uh, when the United States already imposed high tariff which more than 25% towards China. And it's still going in 2019 until now which is 2020. So I guess when uh, the President Bill Clinton uh, already signed the law of free trade with China in order to settle down or reduce the trade barriers between them in the year uh, through in the year I'm sorry in the year 2000 if I'm not mistaken however uh, this situation did not make any changes when uh, the Trump's administration decided his decision in the opposite way for some particular reasons uh, in which when the United States imposed high tariff on China imports, in return, China did the same things like the US did. This is how the trade war between them happened. Meanwhile, uh, the World Trade Organization ruled that the United States has acted against the organization's policy by imposing uh, the tariff on China's, I'm sorry, uh, on China's uh, good, while President Bill Clinton has already signed the law of retreat. Definitely then, as we already know that China is one of the largest that produce more good at cheaper a price. In this situation, if the United States as a could at implement trade protectionism, which is the United States purchase or buyer have to pay much more for the main made in United States good and things so it's more unexpected that or unlikely the trade deficit will probably change and as the normal people they prefer to pay in lower price or little such as computer electronic and even clothing although that the America might lose their job. Moreover China is one of the country that have a huge economy or we can say it has the large, largest economy and the population about 1.4 billion people in that country. It is a basic way to measurement the level of the level or standard of living, our gross domestic consumption of thing and product per capita. Furthermore, China pack its money based on the dollar by using a fake exchange rate and also when the dollar drop its value, China have to buy the dollar toward the United uh, State Treasury to carry it. On top of that, the largest and the largest group of United imports from China is the computers, mobile phones, clothing or apparel, kit things and sports products. These products are basically from the United States that operate manufacturers that make for low price assembly. If these imports are shipped to the United they are regarded as imports. Nowadays, China is considered as one of the largest imports to America, especially in commercial aircraft, soybeans, and semiconductors. During the year 2019, uh, China already postponed or we can say cancelled its imports of the soybean towards the United States after the president uh, of the America, Donald Trump began a trade war. This situation can be applied when the United States implements tax on China, steel exports, and many other goods. 
Well, that is so interesting, guys. Hmm. Talking about this issue, I believe there must be the rules. All, I'm sorry again. I believe there must be the rules or law that can resolve and apply towards the dispute uh, between the United States and China that is currently uh, happening and ongoing that has affected the whole world indirectly or maybe directly. So what do you think is the possible uh, rules or law that may resolve this issue? Zadika, uh, maybe you have uh, something to tell us or do you have anything to say about this? Well, actually, for this situation, China might use the WTO to get even with the United States. However, it is not as easy as we can see nowadays. So, Zafifa, what do you think about the possible rules that the parties might say? I believe when there is a will, there must be a way. The something thing applied to this situation. First, we have the most favored nation rule, according to. According to the MFN, uh, we can say that, uh, ac- according to MFN, then based on the World Trade Organization, list stated that any member cannot simply differentiate with trade member. For example, one ter- one country cannot impose a high tariff to their partner of their good in their country, and we should treat them fair and do the same for all. Yeah, yeah, mm, definitely, definitely. And then I think they may uh, seek to go with agreement on uh, the World Trade Organization. Um, they may use uh, the organization to make agreement between them. So as for this situation, China country may use the World Trade Organization, which at first was an American-made organization, to get even and true uh, with the United States. Uh, during the Obama era, Beijing is getting uh, almost uh, 2.4 uh, billion US dollar in retaliatory sanctions against Washington for non-compliance uh, based on the World Trade Organization, which is a ruling which ruling a tariff uh, argument and dispute to it, the United States in that time. Based on the Reuters uh, report, which state that uh, America will be counted and facing Chinese sanction if it does not leave or regard a few tariffs that discriminate the World Trade Organization at the, at the same time. In this matter, uh, the WTO plays an essential role that is one of the global international organization that deals with the regulation of trade between the world between the nation in uh, international level i guess yes that it is their aim is to assist the manufacturer of goods and services exporters and most importantly is the importers in making their business uh, running smoothly uh, basically wto is an american made organization as i mentioned before which one of the successes of the general uh, Ah, this organization this organization is the successor of the of the general agreement on tariff and trade uh, or better known as GATT G A T T is as a trade inventiveness that established by Washington and it lies in 1947 which their goals is to reduce the trade barriers yes that is the main goal uh, in about the de- a decade, uh, the state indicates the state of Washington from every trade lesson to the rest of the world and compasses uh, China and helps spread a global market with the creation of this uh, body in 1995, that is the World Trade Organization. However, uh, the GATT is one of the f- informal institutions and organization, but WTO is one of the best and formal institution, which other country and members in the organization can simply appeal when they think other members make or impose trade restriction on their goods 
and products that is not in line with the organization policy. Although in WTO theory, it benefited all the members especially, and in practice, it also benefited the large players more, like the United States. This can be seen when American uh, organization or corporations fail to outcompete the smaller players from emerging and market economies around the globe. This is very obvious, right? Right now, the United States itself create the war, the war and violate its policies while they are the original member in a trade with China. So in this part, according to the preamble to the WTO agreement, the two main instruments to get or achieve the objective of the WTO are firstly, uh, the cut on the tariff barriers and other barriers to trade, and second is the elimination of discriminatory treatment in trade, international trade relations. Based on the main preamble, it indicates that the United States already breached the agreement and also as the member of WTO, that should be fair to other trade partners in every aspect and cannot differentiate the tariff when the import goods enter their country like the United States due to China today. Hence, based on the MFN and WTO, the United States already violated I'm sorry, the United States already violated those two agreements I mentioned before. Well, thanks for the wonderful explanation guys. So moving on to the possible solution to settle the trade war and the economics tariff that uh, the United States put on China, I think the WTO is the most influential institu institution that may be able to help the dispute parties. Although the WTO was started by American as to open global markets, manage commerce and encourage harmony in trade among nations, one of the major reasons of the WTO is their responsibility to settle the dispute among the members of the WTO. As for example, WTO have to take serious measure to between the United States and China, even though in this situation the uh, the Trump government not satisfied with the WTO decisions and also has a lot criticized about China to agree and accept a specific or special status for developing countries given which is being called um, as the second largest economy in the worldwide in this case to settle the dispute under the WTO is under the solely under the role of the dispute settlement body which is the general council in another and besides the dispute settlement body has an absolute power in making or establishing panels of export in order to consider that a few dispute and to agree or decline the panels in order to find the results of the appeal. In this situation, or we can even the trade war between the United States and China is still ongoing until nowadays. We hope that the WTO plays its roles as an influential organization towards these both parties to settle or being a media person to settle the trade war. It is become it is because trade war is not going beneficial both or the parties and it will also affect other members of being trade with them and then I think they uh, too shall consider to go for uh, consideration and efforts that they can make between them nowadays uh, in this current situation both of the country which is China and the United States should or definitely take their best solution or steps in order to settle down their dispute in the year-long tariff war, which this trade war is uh, increasing economic tariff not for both parties only, but indirectly for the rest of the world. Uh, not only impact their country, but also being felt around the world, as I, I said before. In my perspective, if both of these countries continues the dispute, it will lead to the worst situation for them and for the rest of the world. One of the best solutions is the nego I'm sorry, negotiation, which is the one way. As for example, both parties can take the effective action and make more efforts in order to deal and prepare for the talks. And also make an effort uh, to produce favorable circumstances for making substantive development or progress between them. But the most important thing is the United States and China has 
has to do the best negotiation with full of sincerity and move forward to continue their affairs well and gently deal with all possibilities. That is the key for this issue. True, the last solution is to reduce the tariff economy of both parties. Uh, in this situation, both of the party, which is a uh, united uh, state and uh, uh, China, uh, in the best solution is uh, both of the party decrease or reduce the economic tariff between them. In this case, one of them should take one step forward, whether China or the United States itself, because if one of the party take the right step, in settling the dispute in order to stop the trade war, it will definitely benefit both of them. Apart from that, let's say that the United States already reduced the tariff on the importing from the China, it will definitely give the good response to China. It is because I think that China will do the same way as the United States their country. This trade war also began when uh, it started from the side of the United States. Hence, through negotiation and principle of non-discrimination system applied in the WTO, the US are able to lower the trade barrier and I think the one the one who start the trade war uh, should itself and the trade war like the United States make a move fo forward in reducing the tariff at first place and they can start to negotiate each other in a good way to settle the dispute. As we already know, not as we already noticed that the trade war not only evolved the uh, evolve that the that party only but pull all the nation of the country by the impact of the trade war. One of the effects from the trade war is other country, product and company that depend on the global supply chain. Thus, applying for this uh, solution, I think, is the best way for both of the parties to start taking rationale ahead for the better settlement in the future. For the net regeneration and especially for the healthy trade relation, both of them and for the other country also. Well, I think that is enough. We shall now proceed to the conclusion. I will start first. To conclude, uh, even we can't see any improvement from the trade war between these both parties, but we still hope that this trade could end soon and be better in the future. Besides, the existence of the United States in the leading of the WTO can be considered reliable, uh, which is essential in widening and emphasizing on how powerful the United States is. Let's say that it can be considered a highly dominant and influential decision taken by the WTO as they obtain the veto power. As for the example that the WTO dispute settlement function is now at risk of collapsing as the United States blocks the appointment of new judges to the appellate body resulting in lack of judges to hear appeals. Having said so, it does not necessarily mean that they could possibly do whatever they want. Instead, they are still bound by the rules and principles of the organization. Despite the work going around by the United States and its future relations with the international organizations, as well as the crisis with China, their influence is still relevant during this time of economic globalization. Hence, if we could say that WTO and other members want to decide to pull them out of the United States from the organization, it will be a huge loss to the other member also. As for example, once they are no longer part of the WTO, they will automatically lose their title to all the benefit list under the organization. Then other country could fr freely rife tariff again, it, which will definitely bring a lot more trouble to the consumer. The most important part is that they will lose access to the dispute settlement mechanism and then the only way to such problem is based on the retaliation which will make uh, the situation more worse. At the final, we still hope that both of the parties, which are China and the United States, could possibly end this dispute in trade war because at the end of the day, it is an undeniable that the US still need a WTO in order to keep their trade humming. After all, it is the law of nature that we are depending on each other to keep uh, to keep moving forward, especially the US. They not just contribute a lot to uh, organization, but they also benefit a lot from the organization. Well, I think that is all for today. And thank you for joining the discussions. Until next time.
Bye. Assalamualaikum.